Alright guys, well, welcome back. The ultra difficulty of the Bambi era epic raid came out today and we are gonna discuss about like the main abilities of the boss and just like common knowledge when facing this boss and you know playing it by yourself. I'm not gonna go over with like every single ability of her because I mean most of the things are just dashing. Like the most of the things are just common sense dashing. I'm not even gonna lie. There are some things that could be tricky, you know, that like very easily hits you bro. Like even even hits me and stuff like that even right now since i did like a couple of runs already it, it still sometimes hit me man right like bro it is what it is uh but yeah man we're just gonna talk about it a little bit right now go over with everything that we have and uh, hopefully by the end of the video you're gonna know the raid a little bit better if you're gonna form it right before we get into the details of the raid i want to mention that you absolutely want to use knockback resistance pets familiars if you have them the most important familiar to have right now in this epic raid it's like so much better so much more fun so much easier if you have them if you don't then even like the gameplay is gonna be changed and the the position where you're standing but i mean thankfully i mean you know you have the special exchange right now go ahead and get those pets right get those pets max it out stuff like this you do you do what you have to do bro and Bambi as well will give you knockback resistance uh, and you just use those nothing else just knockback resistance and and you're very good to go right okay so phase one the most important thing that you can do in phase one is that you don't hit the boss until this thingy just expires like first of all like when the epic raid starts she will have a mini circle around her and there are going to be targeted beams at random players right uh, now if you're playing by yourself then the beams are going to be targeted at you right and you constantly have to evade it uh you know it's it's like a circle maneuver if you know what i mean like you're always dashing in a circle rotating after everything ends there will be an aura blast uh this one is a purple indicator so if this hits you then you're dead right if it's pink then you're not dead but yeah, this one is purple so you're dead uh very unlucky right if that happens but other than that though everything else here is gonna be very very straightforward after these beams expire and and you see the the text worthing the peering on the screen you can stay close to the boss uh, like and you're just gonna evade everything like normally you know because everything is like a hit and move hit and move hit and move oh the only tricky part about the first phase is this one so it's, it's not even that big of a deal just don't stay again until the beams are expiring don't stay close right this is you this is the bambi raid right i mean not, not like really like nothing crazy going on here but like uh, for match stores she has a circle and targets a couple of beams right until the beams are gonna expire the only thing that you're gonna do is that you're gonna move you're gonna move like this right every single time after they expire, GG's. You can do whatever you want, right? You can stay close to the boss. You can run around a little bit, blah, blah, blah. Because every time it's going to be like, oh, hit, you move. Hit, you move. Hit, you move, right? So nothing really that crazy, if you know what I mean. Um, only, like, make sure that, like, first phase, you're not too close. After the beams expire, there will be an aura blast aura blast is the big one right and you just die to that it is what it is other than that though again very simple right very 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 simple F second phase there are more tricky things at the second phase than the first one so like the first thing that she does is going to be again targeted beams right but you want to stay at the middle you want to stay at the middle always stay at the middle because i mean there are just so many abilities around the map that if you don't stay at the middle it's just kind of ggs i'm not even gonna lie but you have to be prepared that aura blast is gonna like bl like bro that one is gonna blast let me tell you that bro every time she does something oh aura blast uh, again does something else oh aura blast right you know hey bro it is what it is so you have to look at the screen here uh, and that's mainly about it though this is the only tricky part the only tricky part you see this movement that she does here and essentially how this one works is that there is a safe zone at one side of this purple line and you have to follow that safe zone if you go to the right side here then the whole entire movement is gonna be messed up and you're not gonna be able to evade it nicely 
because there is again a, a hit and move maneuver built into this and if you're choosing this side to stay on then it's gonna be very easy right because you see this one is gonna consistently explode uh and you have to find the safe zone so if you if you found the safe zone first you need to rotate around right uh, again in a circle shape you see safe zone explosion safe zone explosion same thing right safe zone explosion and that's mainly about it though always choose the safe zone that is the closest to you and commit to that one right so again purple line there are gonna be a couple of like uh yellow abilities the yellow abilities don't do nothing uh, they just don't do anything right um but they hit you though like no status element or anything but they hit you though so you see the purple line this one is gonna be safe for you always 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 just move bam you get there right starts to explode bomb you get their source to explode bomb you get their source to explode right and that's kind of this attack is the most common one to get hit by during the epic raid if you don't get hit here it's gg easy bro like you 100 you will clear if you don't get hit here you will clear after the pattern that i just showed you right like the the beam and dash beam and dash right after that one this will start happening this is gonna be two port attacks the whole map is gonna be covered in like a pinkish colored attack right so it's not purple it doesn't kill you instantly but you get like damaged like crazy right so first she gonna choose a side that is gonna explode right now this was the right side but it can start from the left as well um right side left side right both of them are gonna get exploded and after that she does a full map damage circle you see that what i'm what i'm talking about right now what you have to do is that whatever side was the lost you know that you were on and it's uh, like safe right that was the safe zone just go to the corners that's it you know you just you just get to the corners and if there is like a bomb exploding right there you just wait like there is so much time look how much time there is bomb exploded already you can stay here all day stay here all day and just walk walk into the safe zone right walk into the safe zone uh first she chooses a side bomb happened right bomb happened right and like you're here right you're here so like don't start going there bro right even though this one just happened right this one happened maybe you know you don't care anymore that this one is there doesn't matter no death choose to the side that was free so just go there right just just find the cordlers and just go there again sit here nicely uh not always you're not gonna always encounter with like a trap like this at the corner but when you do don't worry about it just chill right there just chilling you know wait nicely when it expires you go in there right nothing crazy bro the rest of the phase two is very very like self-oriented you always use dash 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 and stay close that's it just stay close or a blast you go away stay close or a blast you go away right nothing crazy same thing is happening you see this one like the the beam and dash maneuver that we were talking about same thing right uh after then it's gonna be like the half map juicer and uh, yeah man phase three again nothing too crazy here i didn't really see like anything that crazy targeted beams the only thing you need to do at targeted beams is that like when the beam explodes you need to dash in you need to dash in right um not really like like not really like dash to the side it's like dash to the side while dashing closer to bambi reason why we want to like dash so much closer because when this attack starts like this is like the barrage of bambi right from the game she starts spamming these blue like attacks right uh, when when that one is happening you need to like evade it while being close to her because you see like if i would be here if i wouldn't dash in every time that she does like a beam then i don't have the space to dash out right i don't have the space let me show you here as well explodes you move in move in move in right and what i was saying is that uh, like you know if if i don't move in when evading those targeted beams and i'm just gonna be like here and it's so much harder to dash from here to there than to be like from here to there if you know what i mean because this is like kind of like just a step but this one is like so much right uh so you might get hit but that's mainly about it other than this i really really don't think there is like anything else to talk about when it comes to phase three just dashing right just momentum 
and uh, that's it right just just that's it you know because you will always have the time like here at the end you will always have the time to see the safe zone you know um so if you can evade those attacks that we were discussing throughout the video then it's kind of like ggs and other than this again just like what i said at the beginning of the video knockback resistance super useful like the best thing you can run right now doesn't matter what stats you have on it but really like bro doesn't matter knockback resistance is amazing in this epic raid this is crazy how many knockback attacks they roar you don't have these pets right stuff like that bro i don't know man like bro you're gonna like you know get stunned every two seconds you know so yeah that's the thing as well hopefully we were able to discuss like you know uh, the most important abilities of the raid again i like i don't want to like go like super detailed into it most of the things are just like bro you see it and you dash and and, and that's it right and unreasonable in my opinion to like um go very detailed on like the minor things the major things i feel like we discussed about it and hopefully it was uh it was a little bit helpful right hopefully man again use knockback resistance and good luck with that one bro thank you so much for watching have a nice day wherever you are take care and bye bye